there was a point in time when the International Space Station, to get a part of it, or to be a part of the International Space Station, India was jostling for it. Today, ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister has already announced that we are looking forward to our own International Space Station. Nothing can be more bigger than this. So why not a little bit about the international, the space station that India is looking forward to and the Atma Nirbhar concept to it. I think so, nothing more. No other sector has achieved as much as, uh, as the Prime Minister would say, Atma Nirbharta, as much as it's happening in ISRO. See, uh, I, I must tell you that after the Chandrayaan 3 successful landing, uh, our Honorable Prime Minister took a review of our program and he was very, very happy. Uh, with the type of accomplishment that we have in terms of mastering the technology required for soft landing on the moon. And his confidence on us has been so high that he said, so let's have a plan for next 25 years on what you really want to do in the space sector. We have been continuing to build our communication satellites, remote sensing satellite and various applications, delivery. I think this will continue. That's a regular type of work which is required to be done. But there must be a very, very inspiring, you know, with a uh, and, and, and type of program that is more visionary in nature. So this is the first time in the history of ISRO a 25-year long roadmap has been developed by the advice of our Honorable Prime Minister. And this is, it has three, three four key, key elements. First thing is the human space flight program which we call Gaganyan is going to continue. It's not going to be a one-time one time event. There is no point in sending an Indian to space and show that, yeah, we have achieved something majestic. But it must really deliver something back. No, we see that access to space by human beings are so crucial for various technology uh, elements. For example, if we look at material science, we look at uh, drug discovery, you look at additive manufacturing in, in uh, humans or organs, or if you want to look at biogenomics domain, microgravity experiments become very, very important. And this requires human beings to be present to organize experiments and do measurements and bring back those samples you know, in a healthy condition for us to analyze in the ground and then give some outcome. So there is hundreds of such experiments taking place in the International Space Station today from various countries. Unfortunately, in India, this domain is still to catch up, and I believe it will really happen. So the goal of the Bharati Andrishtha Station is to connect the human spaceflight program and the demand for new technologies that will come out of the microgravity experiments. And once you have a space station like that, this should be possible for us to send Indian scientists up there and conduct experiments to serve those sectors of the industry. So I, we believe it's not just going to show that, that we have an international station like others, but to deliver an economic benefit out of it. The second element is to continue the scientific exploration that we have been doing so far. That's the Chandrayaan series, we did the Mangalayan, we did the AstroSat. So these are low-cost scientific experiments that we have been able to do and really bring out substantial scientific outcome. So we are th now thinking about a series of missions to Moon, because Moon is a new area where it's emerging in every sector and the new ec Moon economy is now taking shape all around. And we don't want to be left behind. So this is the second domain of it. The third is the human access to Moon and make an Indian land on the moon. And it is an iconic element of the whole, whole of this vision. Why we say it's not, it's not just landing a person on the moon. Taking him up to there uh, requires so many technologies need to be developed. For example, our launcher capacity must substantially increase. Today we have only four tons to GTO capability. It's not enough. We need to have something like 30, 40 tons of uh, mass lifting to a low Earth orbit capability if you really want to send a human being to moon. And once you do that, and once you create that capability, your space station building will automatically happen. Let us understand the connection between these two. So the human access to moon, the higher payload capability, building space station, scientific discovery in, and exploring other planets like moon, Mars, Venus, etc. They are all connected in a manner which will improve the technical capability of space sector, which will improve the economic benefit out of it. It will also give opportunity for industries to work in this sector and to have an economic activity in and around the space sector. So this is all connected in a manner that the overall space sector, which is now opened up after the 2020 announcement of the opening of the space sector, it will really bring in a lot of activity in this sector. 